Hi, welcome to Off The Ranch. Look how fresh this hat is, it looks so good. You know what doesn't look good? This big empty hole. That's what she said. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is we need some garage cabinets in here. It's a mud dauber. So I want cabinets there, 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 all around here. I got like a battery charger over there and I've got my compressor right here. Things like that that I like having in my garage but I'd like to have stored neatly to make it look good. So, we actually have some guys coming in today. I've um, been talking to him for a while and we are going to build out this, finally. I am here with Scott, who is the owner of RM Cabinets. What's up, Scott? What's going on? And they are unloading the trailer over here and Scott is going to put some stuff in, uh, in our garage here. So you actually did Brad to Birdie's garage, right? Correct. correct Which yeah. looks awesome. So we first saw Brad's thing on Instagram. He got the hexagon lights up in the garage, which we stole that idea and put that in our vault. I texted Brad and I was like, where did you get those? And then I asked Brad, hey, who did your garage cabinets? Because I want some stuff. And he connected me with Scott. And so Scott, you guys are based out of Houston? Correct, yeah. And where's Brad at? Uh, North Carolina. You guys usually go that far? No. <laughs> what, no. what area do you service? Uh, we'll do Houston, surrounding areas. Yeah. And you know, this trip uh, here wasn't that bad, so. Yeah. East Texas kind of stuff. Yeah, probably. East Texas, North, North. Uh, we'll go all the way up to you know, like Lake Livingston and stuff like that. So nothing Ooh. too far. Yeah. So what do you got planned for my garage today? Uh, so today we're going to fill your void and we're going to turn it into a storage. Uh, you got uppers and lowers going on this wall with a full height cabinet on this end, and we're going to mimic the same on this wall. Your back wall is going to get lowers, and we cut it out to fit. Your toolbox, because yeah, I know you had a request that you wanted to slide that in. Yeah, I wanted a toolbox that I can pull out if I want to, you know, take it over there and work on something. But uh, I sent him all the measurements, so I was the one who measured everything, and I'm hoping I did everything right. Um, but they're going to start putting all this stuff in, and how long do you think this install will take? Uh, it shouldn't take well, maybe four, four hours or so. That's with putting the slat wall in on the sides yeah. and uh, getting it all test fitted, get your hardware on, yep. doors adjusted and everything like that. Very good. All right, well, we are going to start building now. I mean, I'm not, these guys are gonna start building because <laughs> they're the pros. We'll let the pros start building and we'll turn this blank void into something that's very usable for us so we can put all of our stuff, keep it all nice and neat and out of the way. Um, and I'm gonna link Scott and RM cabinets in the description below. If you guys are in East Texas, wanna check them out.
We have a few shirts we're launching, so we're gonna take some pictures. David's setting up lights and stuff, so they look awesome. So we're gonna take some pictures of new shirts. I'll show them to you guys too. All right, here's something you probably are not interested in right now, especially if you live in Texas. It's a hoodie, but it actually looks really cool. And in another couple months, you're gonna be very interested in it. Check it out. We got us some Demolisha Desert Tan hoodies. Looking super good. Link to the description below. Some of these shirts, uh, I don't think they're actually for sale. They're gonna be our subscription shirts coming up. So you have to be a subscriber. Sub subscription subscriber. You know what I mean. You just can't buy it. I should quit talking. Look at this though. We're so fancy, we have a big light. It's amazing. <laughs> and last one, I actually lied about this one too. All of these shirts are subscription shirts. Um, the only one you can actually just buy outright is the Demolisha hoodie. So if you wanna sign up for our monthly subscription, these are the upcoming shirts, you get a sneak peek. We're gonna do something a little different now. Um, I've seen these gear review type videos for 10 years and I've never, made one, partly because I think a lot of them are very boring, and partly because I've never really been into gear. I've never really put a lot of thought into it. So I'm gonna show you, I've actually acquired two more belts recently, and this is a belt I've had for a while, and I wanna just talk to you about gear, because I also had an incident happen in my house recently that made me go, I need to get my gear in check. Mm, I got a little nervous. So picture this. It is 10 p.m. at night, pitch black, and I get a notification on my phone that a motion detector has gone off outside. And I'm like, that's weird. And I get up instantly and I go look outside and there's a parked truck in my driveway with no one in it at 10 p.m. at night, a truck I do not recognize. Instant high alert, I'm like, what is going on here? And I'm freaking out, I'm like, what do I do? And I'm like, I need a pew pew. And I, so I run to my safe, boop, got a pew pew. And then I'm like, what else should I get? And I'm like, Flashlight, probably. Just in, I'm like, think, should I get another mag? But I'm wearing gym shorts. I don't have like room for another mag. And so I just grab a pew pew and a flashlight, and I start running around to every window trying to figure out where this person is, and I can't find him. And so I'm like, oh, shoot, do I go outside? And like, if I go outside, should I put on body armor? Like, what should I do? I don't know. And there was like a lot of like really a lot of thought going on in my head. I was like, do I need an extra mag if I go outside? I, I wish I had one, but I don't just carry a bunch of stuff outside. And also I'm thinking it also could just be a worker because we do still have people working on our house. No one should be working at, on our house at 10 p.m. at night, but I'm like, well, maybe he forgot his cell phone and he came back to get it. But then I'm like, but why would he not have knocked on my door? Why would he just sneak around to my house? So anyway, long story short, I went outside with just a pew pew in my right hand and a flashlight in my left, both totally off though, so you couldn't like see, I have a, a light on my pew pew as well, but both off so you can't, so I can be like sneaky and stealthy. I end up finding the guy and crisis averted, it was just a worker who had forgotten something and he got his butt chewed out by a mad mat at 10 p.m. at night because he was in my backyard. I was like, why didn't you knock on the door? He's like, oh, sorry. Anyway, not cool. I don't know why you'd ever walk around in the backyard of someone's house, especially someone in Texas, at 10 p.m. at night. But anyway, that situation, it actually made me realize that I need to be more set up so that I don't have to think about what should I take. And so that situation, plus when I went training the other day with Kilo Charlie Tactics, actually randomly am wearing his shirt today, um, I learned a lot about belts and kind of got you know, a little, a little more familiar with this kind of stuff. So this is the belt I actually ran. If you haven't seen my video, I got a Terran Tactical Sand Viper and I ran it in a Kilo Charlie Tactics class and I put that whole video on Demolition Ranch. It was pretty cool, it was really fun. I had never done a tactical pistol class like that before. So I learned a bunch of stuff, kind of learned, I had no idea where I wanted things on my belt. I just, this is a, like a competition belt and so I took this which is cool, but it's made for competition. It's not made for tactical stuff. And so I owned this belt and turned out that was actually the same belt that the uh, instructor was using in the class. And so I like this belt, um, but it's a little too bulky for like me wanting to go out uh, at night. And this is a, this is high speed gear right here. Um, not sponsored by them at all. What's cool about this is you don't have to go through belt loops. You literally just go boom and it's on and you're good to go. And I thought, man, that'd be really cool. This belt is, you go through all your belt loops and you have to actually like get like suited up and it takes you five minutes to get like locked in how you wanna go. 
But these that just clip on and they've got like this padding on the inside that kind of grips you. You put it on and your belt is on, all your stuff is on. And so I thought, man, that would be cool if I had something like this that was fast to put on, but less bulky. And so I actually ordered this after the training class and after my, uh, my 10 p.m. incident. And it's the same deal. It's just like that, but way smaller. It has a pad on the inside. And so this whole part of the video is to get your opinions. Um, because I don't know this kind of stuff very well, so I want your opinion on, on what I got um, in case of an emergency. I have a Glock 34, this is actually an agency Glock 34, um, in a easy holster here. Um, and this will have a full mag in it right here. I think I'm actually gonna put a red dot on it. After the training class, I think I like red dot. So I got a Glock right here with a full mag right here. It will be in the holster already, the whole belt ready to go. I have another full size mag right here and then HSDI makes these cool like long taco pouches so I've got a freaking 33 round Glock mag too. So I feel like I'm pretty loaded up on ammo, can do anything. Um, and then back here on this side I have a regular flashlight too. So my thoughts are these are what I will probably use the most and so they're all right here easy to get. Reload, reload. But I also, if I'm not using this, I have a flashlight back here behind that I can pull out, use around if I find out, oh, it's not a threat. It's just a worker who made a bad decision in my backyard. Pistol down, pull out the flashlight, good to go. I think I'm gonna get a holster that could hold a pistol with a flashlight on it. And then back here, I do have an AR mag too. And my thought there is if there's like multiple people that are around my house, I might want a bigger pew pew and so I might take an AR, which will have a full mag in it, but then I have on my hip another mag and then a backup sidearm right there, is my thought. If there's like a truckload of dudes that pulls up, this might sound crazy to some of you guys, especially you guys who came here for like the abandoned mansion videos and now you're here and you're like, oh, Matt's one of those people. Hi. Nice to meet you. I don't need to be wearing pants with a belt loop. I can be in my underwear and clip this on and go out there and defend my house if I need to. So my question is, this is probably my main bump in the night setup plus a rifle if I want it, which will also be next to it. What do you think about that? I'm gonna set this one up for being like, if I go further than just walking around my house. This is gonna be a primarily Defend the castle, not gonna go much further than that kind of setup. This is if like, you know, I actually need to go hiking and I need to go for a while. This bigger pad, I'm gonna load this thing up with more stuff, it'll be heavier. I've got a multi-tool on there. I wanna get a bunch of mags. This will have two AR mags plus two pistol mags, plus I'm not sure what pistol I'll run in that thing. Another flashlight and then what else do I need on that? And then David actually got this for me recently. This is just like, a little med kit. So it has tourniquets and chest seals and quick clot and gauze and burn stuff. Um, pretty much everything you would need for an emergency med kit right there. Right now I have nothing on, boom, bump in the night. And within seconds I have everything to defend myself and to, you know, if anyone does get shot, We've got that as well. So, I mean, 10 seconds, oh, I'm pretty loaded up and feel pretty safe, which that's what I realized with that bump of the night is it took me way longer to get way less comfortable with what gear I had. So I was like, how can I make this fast? What about like having a car readiness bag? And so I was like, I had this bag just randomly. I think it came with a pew pew. And I was thinking about making that like a car readiness bag with some extra mags, which by the way, this thing has room for rifle and pistol mags on the sides of it. And then I'm also thinking, well, if I was gonna get the heavier rig, I probably, you know, that probably means that I know I'm gonna get into some action. So I probably should have some body armor. So like have that down here with full mags, full pistol, everything right next to the body armor and have, you know, mags in these pouches as well. And so if it's like something quick, and I just need, need to go fast, I'm good, I have this. But if it's something where it's like, it's gonna be worse, more dangerous, that kind of thing, come down here, load up, and I am, you know, a lot more protected and also have a, you know, 
a rifle down here, ready to rock as well. There's a door there, ready to rock as well. So I make this video for you guys who know more about this stuff than I do because admittedly, total noob. How should I set up my big belt? What do you think about my quick and fast small belt, my bump in the night belt? When would you put that on if it was a bump in the night? Would you have that or you just keep this in like your truck? Looking for all opinions, um, especially if you actually know what you're talking about. Um, if you actually have some tactical gun belts and if you actually carry stuff, if you actually have done this professionally, um, would love to hear you because I, I'm a total newbie and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to learn. It's really fun and I'm actually having fun building these out even though this is a super expensive hobby, <laughs> I've realized, like just buying this stupid belt. Like I'm not like shouting out this company, but just so y'all know if you're interested, this is HSGI, but just this belt was $200. Like what the, they're really proud of their belts, but it's cool, it's got a D-ring. I, I think that's for like fast roping. I'm not gonna do that, but it looks neat and it's cool, I like it. I don't know if it's worth 200 bucks. You guys tell me, did I get ripped off or? These things all expensive. I'm really actually serious. I'm gonna be reading comments looking for all opinions. Appreciate you guys for uh, helping me keep my family safe. They're done. What do you think? I think it looks great. It actually does look really good. What I like most is that I didn't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that you had ordered it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that it was being installed. She actually asked me today, she goes, who coordinated all of this? And I was like, <laughs> I just this came guy. home yesterday and there were a bunch of people in my garage. That's true, I never actually even told you they were coming. No. <laughs> <laughs> so on the left wall, we've got, man, these are eight foot cabinets probably. Um, so we got uppers and lowers. And so I can take all these shelves out if I wanna keep you know brooms or something in here, but I think I'm actually gonna use the shelves, although we have tons of shelving. And then we got lower shelves, upper shelves, and then we have this slat wall back here. Um, where I can get all kinds of things to mount, you know, tools or whatever there. We left a hole here so I could slide that toolbox in and out. Back wall we have drawers, which is really cool. And then more cabinets, cabinets, shelves. So my thought is I'm probably gonna keep like all my race gear out here. Like, you know, in this I could have, this one's deep, so I could have helmets and fire suits and stuff like that just to get it out of my office. Just all my gear will be out here. And then we got, you know, drawers that we can, you know, put stuff in. Like this can be my battery drawer and I'll probably mount the battery charger to the wall or maybe to the slat wall over here to where we always have charged batteries just sitting right there, good to go. And I don't know, I'll just start filling up the other drawers with stuff, I'll figure it out. Would you say I am a neat and organized person? I can't even take the question seriously. That's the opposite of what is true. Mm -hmm. But I want to be. Like I, I want to be, I just know I'm not, and so I'm, this it will help me. At least I can hide all the messy do stuff. You want to be? I do want to be, I just, I just get distracted and things get messy. <laughs> Matt and I are very opposite in this department. Yeah, you I am very organized and like all of my closet drawers are like, things are folded perfectly and put perfectly in place and Matt's like, eh, whatever. No, I actually, yes, that's true. I like my stuff to be all be folded and organized. I just hate the actual process of folding and organizing and so I don't do it often until I get like super motivated. But this will help me, I think. Like, how can I not stay organized when I have all these drawers and cabinets? I guarantee you that they're gonna be full of just random crap. That's probably true. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you got me there. But look how but good it looks. As long as it's in the garage yeah. and not random crap and cabinets inside the house, it, my pad here space. It does look stellar, right? It does look really good, yeah. Scott from RM Cabinets. Good job, dude. This looks good. Um, we actually need to make sure the truck fits in here though, because that's a big truck. No. Sweet. So this was something I was worried about too, is still having plenty of room to walk through when a truck is pulled all the way up in here, which we do. We have plenty of room on both sides of the truck, and you know, if I'm working in here, the truck won't be in here, or I could be scooted way back, but when it is parked, I wanted to be able to still walk around and get around here. So I'll probably get a couple bar stools in here too, so I can you know, hang out, maybe some under cabinet lighting or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, 
This is one step closer to Matt organizing his life and not being a sloppy bum. So yeah, stay tuned to see that coming along a little more each day. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Comment below, let me know how my gear is looking and what I should do to fix it. I appreciate you guys. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.